Guys, welcome back to another one. You know the drill by now. This week, we're out in beautiful Kangaroo Island. We've got another bell-driven off-grid system we're keen to show you. So let's get stuck into it and walk you through the setup. So on this one, our customers opted in to go one of our off-grid cabinets. We've got this built in conjunction with our friends at Complete Power Partners. It's one of their core 10 cabinets. It's an absolute belter. We'll open it up, we'll show you what's inside. So starting out on the right-hand side of the cabinet. So this is a two-stage cabinet. So left-hand side's all the batteries and the right-hand side's all the good stuff. We've integrated in a Multi Plus 10 from Victron. Always Victron with us, we love their products. We wouldn't use anything else out in Kangaroo Island. We've got the Multi Plus 10. So our client's got a house that they're building just out here as well as their shed. This is more of a holiday home, so it's not gonna be used all the time. So they don't need the big Multi Plus 15. So the 10 was fine based on their loads. Just next to it, we've got the 450 200 MPPT controller. So this is what transfers our power from our panels brings it right down, charges it at 48 volts because we've got a 48 volt bank of batteries. That's our uh, MPPT charger there. And then below that, we have all of our switch gear. So just our battery isolators, our DC isolators. So as you can see, what's really handy about this, it's all in one cabinet. So you don't have a lot of mess. You don't have a lot of fuss about it. I'm out of sticky beaks and sticky hands and vermin proof, dust proof, IP rated cabinet. Cool thing about this cabinet is it is aluminium. It keeps the weight down for transport. The biggest pro for this one is we're near the beach. So we're about 600 meters from the waterfront. So we're gonna have no corrosion on this unit and that keeps all of our equipment inside rust free as well. That's the other reason the client's rocked with the Core 10 cabinet. On the uh, on the left hand side here, we've got a, a bank of US 5000 Bs. Like in all of our other videos you've seen, 4.8 kilowatt hours usable. So we've got about 30 kilowatt hours of total storage here. Really good unit. Again, they're a managed battery. So we've got the comms that talk to the Victron gear. The difference with this unit is we've included the Acrano. Um, so this is a new product from Victron. So normally we would have the pylon techs and all the Victron stuff talk to a servo. This one here is we've got the Acrano. Really good piece of kit. It does the exact same as your servo. It's just a bit of a nicer finish to this cabinet. So it's an IP rated piece of equipment with the touch screen. It's about a 70 inch. So it's similar size to your GX touch 70. So once again, we've got our AC load. So we've just got all the lights on in here. 1.5 kilowatt load coming in. The PV charges doing about 300 watts. The sun's going down right now and we can sort of see our battery state of charge. This is a really good piece of kit if you want some security. So no one's going to be able to touch anything. So we're getting these kits in, building them ourselves and we're getting Matt and Lyndon to help us with a lot of them. It's a really good piece of kit and it does have a temperature sensor for some fans in here as well. The bigger multi plus 15 units, so the core 15s will come with air conditioning as standard. So love it. We'll just get onto the roof now. Paired in with the 450 200 MPPT, we've tied in the Ico 440 N type NeoStars. They're an excellent panel, pure all black cell, pure black frames. We picked these panels for a couple of different reasons. So, one of them is the inbuilt shade tolerance. So, these are super shade tolerant. So, whilst we don't have too much shade out here, if you do get anything like bird droppings, anything like that, it will help max production on your system. As well as that, it has a really good temperature coefficient that so really works well in hot weather, which is really beneficial to an off grid system you want to get max power out of the system probably the most efficient panel on market as well being that ico makes its own cells they're able to squeeze a lot of power out of a small frame super good panel we love them the biggest reason though uh, and this is something to keep in mind that we use these panels is they have one of the best salt mist ratings being that we're only 600 meters from the water's edge you want to make sure that your panel is rated to be that close to the ocean if it isn't you can expect premature failure ico has supplied us and our client a white paper that says that we can install all this close to the ocean. It's one of the best on market for that. So that's why we picked Ico. Check it out, it looks unreal. So moving on from there, we're gonna go down to our Jenny. We've got the auto start from the Acrano here. So we've got a two wire auto start with this Kubota. So this is a low boy six, six KVA. So the client supplied this one for us. Always love it when a client supplies us a really good quality Jenny. So this here should be around for a long time. They've just gonna still flew this out. One of the big things with off-grid setups with the Jennies, make sure you integrate a battery charger. If you come in here, so we've got our deep sea controller here. So most Jennies will have a control screen. Big thing with them is whilst we have them in auto and the screen is on, that actually chews up a fair bit of juice. Um, and if you've got a well-designed system where the Jenny doesn't start too often like ours do, you won't be able to keep the battery charged for the auto start. So 
hot tip, include in your systems a little trickle charger. You can do it with a solar panel, you can do it with a little Victron one like we have, just make sure you got one in there. The other thing with this cabinet, we do have a pre-done switchboard on the side. This is the AC switchboard. So we've got our Hager switch panel here. We use Hager switch gear for most of our stuff. And like I said in all the other videos, really important, you build in your changeover switch or your generator supply. Once again, what that does is if the MultiPlus dies, it's not so important probably out here, but it is if the MultiPlus dies, you can at least run the property purely off of your Jenny whilst we get the new MultiPlus sorted or get that repaired for you. Again, just builds in some redundancy and you want redundancy when you're off grid. Topping it all off on this one. So last minute the client asked if we could wire the shed. Being electricians, of course we can. So we fitted him out with eight high base, bunch of power points and some floodlights outside so he can work in here comfortably from the get go. So he's ready to rock and roll. We're off, let's get out of here. Guys, as always, if you are interested in an off-grid power system for your property, it doesn't matter where you are, South Australia, New South Wales, Kangaroo Island, you can be anywhere, get in touch with us. If you've got any questions, chuck them in the comments below. I'd love to answer them. Give us a call, give us an email, whatever you need, anytime. Catch you on the next one.